Hey guys, this is Poet Spice and I am here to do the last episode of the Tropical Cookout uh, collab for Poet. And it's so sad because that means it's the end of July and I am so not ready to go back to that place yet. And it makes me sad and depressed and I feel like, sh yeah. anyway, okay. Like I need anxiety medicine or something, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so let's get started. So, the whole point of this collab was to use stuff that would be like grills, cookouts, tropical, tropical beach, whatever, all that kind of stuff that's that summertime cookout feel, vacation vibe. So, I went overboard as usual. So, I'm just going to show you some things and then I'll show you the stuff that I finished. So, I did have this stamp set from MFT. <clears throat> I'm hoping you can see it. It seems like it's awful dark in here. I don't know. So this stamp set is from MFT. And it's so cute because it's got a little bear with his little mittens and a little grill. And I had planned to, to color some up and make something. So, as I normally do, I end up stamping a bunch. And <laughs> I do or don't necessarily color at all. So here is a bunch of it stamped. And I did do a little bit of coloring. Obviously, I did not cut it out with the dies or anything, but I did that. And then I have this one from Diamond Press, where you can see the dies, and then it has stamps to match. And so I did a bunch of stamping of those. So you see the meat and the hot dogs or the brats, whatever. And then, like, there's burgers and stuff and little bottles, ketchup, little cleaver. So I did a bunch of stamping for that. Then I also had this set, which... <laughs> When I bought it, I specifically bought it for this collab. And did I, like, actually color it? No. That's okay. So, this stamp set and dies. That match. It also has some stencils, which I put the stencils in a different pack. But, so, there's that. So, I stamped everything out for there a few times. So, I didn't color them, but I did stamp out two sheets. Yeah, it's two sheets of stuff. So those are the things I stamped and did not get around to coloring <laughs> when using in a project. Yay, way to go poet. All right, so then we will go with this. So this is the K, uh, KS Craft Lovers, I got glue on my finger, um, coconut drink. I did make one of those and I actually made it into a shaker. So you can see her. So you her, see her. There we go. Maybe that'll work. So I did the little umbrella and I just used scraps that I had sitting over here. I had purchased these little bits. So you can see they're like different fruits and everything from Amazon. Let's see. Uh, there, maybe you can see. I don't know if you can see the thing from Amazon. If you want a link or something like that, you can let me know and I can put those in the description. And so I made a shaker. I used some plastic from packaging. So we have all this packaging that all this crap comes into. So don't forget that you can use that. Now I didn't use foam. What I did was I cut the base layer of it. This was some, this, this, this were pieces from not too shabby shop as well as the leaves there. This was a piece I had left over from um, what was it? Citrus Punch Monday. So I had a little piece put that in there. But instead of using foam, I actually cut that die. So the piece that makes the shaker, I cut this die here. I cut it like seven times. Um, plus, you've got the bottom layer. And then I cut it again for the top layer. So like eight times. So that there would be... Well, you can probably see. So there would be that lip. So you can put shaker bits in there. And that's another way you can do something if you don't have foam. If you want to use a paper that you don't like and is ugly, you can use like, and you know, just stack it. And you could stack it as high as you want, you know. And then you can have your pieces. So I did that one. I thought that was cute. And so there's that. And then I used this. So I used this Day in Paradise. This is stamps by me. I love this paper, it's so pretty. I also used the, I think it's Summer Words. I forget what it's called, Summer Words or something from Scrap Diva Designs. So I used their words again. 
And then I also used my Karen Burnison Circle Tag Book pop-up uh, to uh, make a card. So, did that. You can see that one. And so let me just go ahead and move that paper out the way. Put that over there. And I can put my little... <laughs> Let me put my little die back where it belongs and there it goes with the word dies and then so here's that card and you could also just make it a tag so here's that card those are the scrap diva words and these are um actually the um not too shabby shop scraps i had left um i don't remember what release it was but so and it's actually the reverse of so this hot pinkish color is on one side and the green is on the back so you can see that paper I also did the same thing with the little hole cover there use that page and then there's the back then we open it up you've got this pop out now this is actually supposed to pop out more but because I folded it a little incorrectly it's not popping out as much as it should but you still get the gist so and then it says it's time to sip and enjoy and so I use this stamp set is in that um, this one here from diamond press and it actually came in one so I snipped it so don't forget that if you have like this sentiment here so it's all together to another year you can cut this stamp so that you actually end up with three years or three the words you know what I'm saying so like and this one says sip sip hooray so you could actually cut it cut it and then you'd have sip sip hooray in three words so don't forget that you can do that with your polymer dies so then you can see where I used that paradise paper and then you just close it up and I can't decide what I want to tie it with so I didn't tie it and then there's the back and you could write a message on the back or you could write like a message on one of these circles the only thing is, I wish I had put this green paper on this back to cover this up, but I did not do that. So, it is what it is, right? right? I still think it's cute, though. So, there's that. Then I have two coloring pages. So, I have A Million Puppies by Lulu Mayo, and I used my four candies, mechanical color pencils, and I did this one <laughs> and it's so cute I love it so you got your little drink glass you got your little puppy sitting on his little what do you call that thing this thing right here and <laughs> let me take that off so you can see the two can and, and I love how the four candies work on this Lulu Mayo paper and so you got all your citrus and your jungly foliage so very beachy got your little beach chair I thought it was so cute look at these little dragons <laughs> so I thought that was so cute I had to put that on there get that done so I got that done and then I love it it's so it's so cute so that was my Lulu Mayo page and then we went with coloring cafe or coloring book cafe rv road trip boop 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 and i did this one and i also used the four candies mechanical um color pencils i just wish they had more colors because they only have like what is it 32 i think in there so i wish they had more colors but you can see how cool that is got your little grill down here got your little food like you're doing a little picnic your little swing we're doing the whole camper vibe thing here yes and that cool so i loved that and that was fun to color that too so those are my items for the last tropical cookout for poet which makes me so depressed you guys uh, i feel like i'm gonna have an anxiety attack but <sighs> we'll have to breathe 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 all right, so those are my items for this week. Thank you for watching and commenting. And for everybody who did comment, thanks for playing along, for those people who played along. So definitely go check out their channels so you can see what they did. And you still can go ahead and put up a video for this week if you would like to play along as well. All right, then stay tuned because I have one up for next month. At the same time, every day on Sat or every Saturday in August at 10 a.m., we will be doing the Paper Doll collab, which is where you're going to 
put together items like actually this could count as one as a paper doll um, anything like this where you have to put the pieces together so if you want to play along you can play along because I already did a call out and so yeah so that's what we will be doing next week when we see that see you guys later thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share bye